the deltoid is a large thick triangular muscle which covers the shoulder joint in front behind and laterally it arises from the anterior border and upper surface of the lateral third of the clavicle from the lateral margin and upper surface of the acromion and from the lower lip of the posterior border of the spine of the scapula as far back as the triangular surface at its medial end from this extensive origin of the deltoid its fibers converge towards their insertion the anterior fibers pass obliquely backwards and laterally the posterior fibers pass obliquely forwards and lateral ward and the middle fibers pass vertically downwards all these unite in a thick tendon which is inserted into the deltoid prominence on the middle of the lateral side of the body of the humerus from its point of insertion the muscle gives off an expansion to the deep fascia of the arm this muscle is remarkably coarse in texture and the arrangement of its fibers is somewhat peculiar the central portion of the muscle which is to say the part arising from the acromion consists of oblique fibers these arise in a bipeniform manner from the sides of the tendinous intersections generally four in number and which are attached above to the acromion pass downwards parallel to one another in the substance of the muscle the oblique fibers thus formed are inserted into similar tendinous intersections generally three in number which pass upwards from the insertion of the muscle and alternate with the descending septa the portions of the muscle arising from the clavicle and spine of scapula are not arranged in this manner but are inserted into the margins of the inferior tendon the deltoid muscle is supplied by the 5th and 6th cervical through the axillary nerve the anterior fibers of the deltoid helps in abduction flexion horizontal adduction and internal rotation of the glenohumeral joint the middle fibers help in abduction of the glenohumeral joint whereas the posterior fibers help in abduction extension horizontal abduction and external rotation of the glenohumeral joint herein we have in detail reviewed the deltoid muscle